Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today, I'm along an old fence row here in Colton, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to hackberry. Hackberry is also known as common hackberry, and it can be found throughout much of Ohio, with the exception of a few counties in the extreme northeastern part of the state. It can also be found throughout much of the Midwest. So how do I identify hackberry? First of all, hackberry has alternate simple leaves. So these leaves alternate on sides of the twig, not paired or opposite like the maples and the buckeyes, but they alternate sides of the twig. These leaves are simple. The keys say they can be anywhere from two to about five inches in length. Most of the ones on this tree are around three inches or so. Um, they're very asymmetrical. If you look at the base, they're very lopsided. If we look at the tip, it comes to a nice point, but it tends to be curved to one side or the other. We call that falcate tip. And then they'll have a serrated margin. Unlike the elms, these are singly serrate. The elms are doubly serrate. So the elms will have big teeth with small teeth on them. These will have just single teeth around the edge. Uh, the venation's quite a bit different than elm as well. It has a single, elms will typically have a single mid vein that branches with parallel veins going to each direction. This one will typically start out with three veins at the base and then they'll branch multiple times until they reach the edges of the leaf. So that's another great identifier. So again, about three inches or so in length, they'll have singly serrate edge, there'll be curved tips to them, a very lopsided base, and then that venation that forks or branches multiple times. They'll also have a petiole that's about a half inch or so in length the twigs are very fine. These are a dark, kind of a reddish brown color, but you'll see obvious lenticels or dots on these twigs. The buds on the sides of the twigs are very small. They're kind of triangular in shape with a flat base, but they'll definitely be triangular and they lay flat onto the twig. So that's a great identifier. And then if we cut into this twig, it'll have what we call a chambered pith. This chambered pith is not as obvious as you might see in a walnut because these twigs are so fine and most of that chambering occurs right where the leaf is attached at the node. So again, if you cut into it, you'll have these big open spaces or chambers within the twigs. These twigs can also form these very unusual growths up in the tree. They're called witch's brooms and that's fairly common in the winter months when there's no foliage on these trees. You'll see throughout the crown these scattered profusion of branches and they call that a witch's broom. Uh, the fruit on this is a little droop. It's a single seeded fruit that'll turn dark purplish in the fall. These are already starting to turn. They have a, a stem that's about a half inch or so in length. They have a, they're actually a droop, so they have a large seed in the middle and very little fleshy fruit on the outside of this droop. So they're very good for wildlife for that purpose as well. And then my favorite characteristic of this tree is the bark. The bark has, especially on a small tree, it can actually be very gray in color, fairly smooth, but you'll start to see these little bumps or warts on that bark, and these little raised ridges of bark will start forming. And as that gets larger, it has a very unique bark. It's not uniform at all. You'll have these ridges, and if you look at them from the side, you'll see these lines that run the length of those ridges. Almost looks like little mountains on a topographic map. A very unique and beautiful bark and it gives you some really gorgeous texture in the winter months especially. So again this is hackberry or common hackberry. It's typically found in low-lying areas just off of the flood plains but they can really do well in an urban environment where there's lots of stresses. Thank you so much for your time and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.